Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the named credential. Um, if you have not seen the previous video of this, wherein I have used the authentication as no authentication uh, as a basic example of named credentials, you can check that <coughs> video. I have given the link in the description below of this video. You can check that and come back. It will have more clarity for you guys. So coming to this video, in this one I have used OAuth authentication in the named credentials as you can see here <clears throat> it's the same named credential but here i have used auth credential and with authentication provider as this one i'll show you how to create this one authentication provider before that you have to create a connected app i'll show you in the later part of that video now let's go ahead and see what is the result going to be when i use auth authentication for the same uh, script like this one in this script you have you can see i have commented out the current user session which i am passing i have commented it out and i'm going to run this and see how is the result whether i'm going to get a success or how it's going to be so this is what i'm going to call this is the class and this is method where i'm calling that uh, named credential i mean api call let's go ahead and see So here you can see for this one we got the success code and we got the custom object uh, uh, list which I am querying. It's just a tooling API just for the sake of example I have considered this one. So going back to this one so here you can see you know this is the query I am running and I am getting a good result positive result. Status code as 200 and this is the named credential which is using OAuth credential. So coming to using this one if i can show you here like earlier i have used no authentication and this time i'm using auth authentication and here i'm selecting sfdc self sfdc all which is nothing but my same org and i'll show you how i have created this one okay so first thing is you have to create a connected app go to create and apps and here create a connected app I'll show you what are the properties I have given and give a name to the connected app and then your email and then this logo you can select it from the link below any logo and this callback URL you cannot give first time when you are creating but it just you can just give one dummy URL and then I'll show you where to take that this callback URL from and then select all the available odd scopes and then save it that's it okay and then you go ahead and create this authorization provider so go to security controls and then authorization provider and then give a name to your authorization provider and select the provider type as the salesforce and this one customer consumer key and the consumer secret uh, you have to get it when you create the connected app so you will get this consumer key and the consumer secret when you create the connected app and you are going to use the same in this authorization provider and you give authorize endpoint as your uh, you know salesforce url this is nothing but login.salesforce.com auth authorize and this one for the token endpoint url which is auth token and mention this default scope as a fresh token space full so and then registration handler it, this will be auto generated while you're creating and it will allow this is execute registration as this will be the user who is going to you know execute and get the authorization and once you enter all these and click save you will get these urls generated so what you're going to do is you just copy this callback URL and go back to your connected app and give it here. Uh, just a minute, I'll show, edit and show you. Here, so this is nothing but the same URL which I copied from here once these URLs are generated and that's it. 
so once you create connected app and authorization provider give some two to ten minutes uh, which normally is the time to you know set everything in your org and then so once callback url is pasted and then go back to your named credential and here you can edit and select the auth and then click the search authorization authentication provider then you will get the one which you have created in security controls authorization provider so once this is set just save it and then use this auth i mean just you just have to use the named credentials uh, here call out named credentials it will take care of the authentication you don't have to change anything here it will just remain as is and i just commented out this one so that i don't want to use the current user session i want to get the authentication from the named credential that way you will be able to you know um, use named credential with authentication and uh, let me re-execute this one and see the result which is going to give a success code and return whatever you are expecting from that API so this is how you use OAuth authentication uh, let me know if you have any questions comment below in this video if you have any doubts and I have given the previous video of this series in in the link in the description below so do check that out as well thank you thank you for watching bye bye